I gotta be honest, guys. These look pretty good to me. What's going on, guys? So I had something happen that has never happened to me before, so I thought I would share the story with you guys. I bought a pair of Nikes about three weeks ago, and they came from a pretty reliable source, so I felt pretty good about the buy. I paid $150 for them, and when I got them in, I looked them over really good just to make sure that you know they weren't fakes, because Nikes are getting faked like crazy and i don't know them well enough to know confidently you know when i look at them like okay these are good these aren't good so i sent some pictures to some friends that know this stuff better than i do one friend even looked at them in person and he said that he thought they were good the other friend that i sent the picture to he's like yeah they look good to me but you know just seeing different pictures you can't really guarantee that anything's you know legit and then i looked them over really good i even watched some youtube videos to kind of like tell fakes from real nikes so i went ahead and listed them i felt pretty good about it they sold within like two days for 300 dollars plus shipping and i got a message from ebay i think like maybe two or three days after i shipped them out and when i shipped them they actually went to the ebay authenticator if you guys aren't familiar ebay has been doing this uh shoe authentication I want to say it's been at least about a year or so that they've been doing it. And the way it works is any shoes um, that are $100 and above, uh, if they're new or $150 or above, if they're pre-owned, they go to the eBay authenticator. That way the buyer, when they get them, you know, they've got the eBay guarantee of authenticity. They've been doing this with sports cards too. So here's the message I got a few days after shipping them out. Our authentication partner received your item, but unfortunately it didn't pass the inspection. We're refunding the buyer $321.59 and we'll seek reimbursement of this amount from you. Below you'll find our authenticator's notes about your item. The only thing it says is unable to confirm authenticity. Listing an item that is not authentic, an item that you're not certain is authentic, or an item that cannot be confirmed as authentic by an authenticator is a violation of our counterfeit policy. This item may not be relisted. So right away I was freaking out. I was pretty worried. Like, are they going to suspend my account? Are they going to shut me down? You know, what's this going to mean for my my good standing with eBay. There was no further message. Basically, I think the gist of it is that I'm not in trouble, but if I tried to relist them, I would be in trouble. Or if I repeatedly was selling shoes that came back as counterfeit, I could probably be in trouble. So I think I dodged a bullet on this one. Luckily, the buyer, you know, didn't get fake shoes because the last thing I want to do is sell fake stuff. That's why I really spent a lot of time looking these over before I even listed them. But I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the shoes and see what you think. So here's the shoes. Um, the box came without a top which is a little bit odd, I guess. And I, I know that there's ways to tell fake boxes, but I really couldn't see anything wrong with the box. And here are the shoes. I gotta be honest, guys. These look pretty good to me. I have seen some fake Nikes over the years, and I know that stitching can be a dead giveaway a lot of times. So I looked the stitching over really well on these, and I thought they looked pretty good. Looked inside the tag really well. And one of my friends said something about when you open up the sole and they've got those little white holes, that that can be an indicator that they are authentic. When eBay shipped them back, they sent this right here. Your item did not pass our authentication partner's verification check. We're returning this item to you because our partner was unable to verify your item's authenticity. You may not relist this item. To learn more, you know, go to this website. Essentially the same thing that they sent me in a message. So, again, I think I dodged a bullet, you know, didn't get in trouble with these, but it's just a lesson learned that so many of these are faked. The only thing that I guess kind of stands out to me is on the fabric, you can sort of see some wrinkles, you know, right around here. But, gosh, these look, these look really good. I mean... <laughs> I don't know. I got to just be extra careful, I guess, because I don't know Nikes well enough. And it's it's probably not worth the risk of investing, you know, $150 like I did on this pair when I'm just not super familiar with these. So moving forward, you know, if something's new in the box like this and it doesn't have a receipt or, you know, I, I can't confirm that the person actually got it from Nike, I'm probably going to leave these alone. It's just, it's not worth risking that kind of investment on stuff and the potential of, you know, my account getting shut down. Now that I've got one sale of a counterfeit shoe, another one would not look very good in eBay's eyes. So I'm not going to chance it. I'm curious if you guys have had anything similar happen to you. If you sold something on eBay and you sent it out to get authenticated by eBay and it didn't pass the authentication process, whether it was shoes or cards or whatever it is, because I know they've been doing purses and 
I think they're doing watches now too. They're authenticating all kinds of stuff. So if you guys have had anything similar like this happen to you, I would love to know the story. Leave a comment below and let me know what happened. Last thing I'll say is I just wanted to tell you guys the story and everything that happened because it was a little weird, different, and it's kind of just a warning to be careful with what you're spending money on. You know what I mean? Like sometimes if a deal's too good to be true, it probably is. And when we're reselling all kinds of different stuff, we can't be experts on everything. You know what I mean? I know a lot about sporting goods. I know a lot about other things. Shoes is something I definitely don't know a lot about. So I'm just going to be super careful moving forward and probably not going to be buying nearly as many of them. That is it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.